I'm Um Fung. I'm going against the clock. Okay. Uh, Can't say I'm succeeding so far, but I know I'll keep trying. realize I'm not recording this.
That could function as a song, I guess. DR202 um, as my drum machine. It also has a bass line and I can pitch it up to be a melody as well. And then I'm running that with MIDI into uh, the Zox box. So I can just make patterns that are basically like acid bass lines on the Zox box, but I don't really like the sound um, of the Zox box, like the, the quality of the sound, like uh, the 303 sound. Um, so I just use that to basically sequence the microchord because I like the, the sounds it makes more. Um, so yeah, it follows the, the, the path of the melody that I've made on the Zox box. Um, and then I can just sort of choose like the sound that I want to use and modify it. Uh, yeah. So my goal was just to make a drum pattern live. And then I used, uh, I have a lot of patterns saved on the Zox box that I've already made. And I just sort of filtered through them to see like which one fit the kind of mood of the drum pattern that I made. Um, and then I made sure that like the, the tone of this would go with the bass line that I made on this. So I saved that. So it's like I did the drum bits and then I found something over here and then I made just a really basic bass line underneath it and I can modify the sound of each drum sound on here so I modified <clears throat> I modified the bass sound so it didn't sound so like Seinfeldy because of the kit I picked it's like a hip-hop kit um, so yeah I like that I can just modify like ev every sound individually on here um, and then I use like mutes to play it basically so it's like I can take out 
pieces. I can add reverb and delay to make it sound more dramatic. And then I can like reintroduce those pieces that I took out. Um, yeah. I try to make like as simple music as possible. Um, I like using just maybe two sounds or like two instruments going into Ableton. Um, I, yeah, I'm really inspired by like old hip hop and like contemporary hip hop that's on the radio. Just like the most part down but like things that get in your head and you still think about them. Um, so yeah, even though I play techno, like that's always kind of where my mind is, is like a different place, like slower stuff, like trip hop is really inspiring to me right now. Um, yeah, but I just kind of like to prove to people that like you can make music with whatever gear. And a lot of people think of this drum machine as a toy but I think it's like the love of my life and it's really powerful. I live in New York City. Uh, we're in Bed-Stuy right now at my studio. Um, yeah, the New York scene is thriving and like people do all kinds of insane stuff. Uh, it's amazing, I don't know, I'm really into it. I try not to like name drop, but like, I just really like living in a place where there are so many influences that are constantly like bouncing off of each other. Like. There's no one sound that dominates the club scene, and you can see where people from different places come in and bring something new, and it influences everything else. And uh, yeah, I just love that, and that like the scene here. I feel like every time I go out, I kind of come away with a new thing I'm thinking about. I feel like I lucked out, like in maybe 2011 or so. There was a pretty thriving synth community in New York. Uh, that I sort of like found myself in. Um, so I got super excited about the idea of making music. I really wanted to. I was already a DJ. Um, I lived in Kansas before. In Kansas City I was part of like a rave scene there. Um, so yeah, I always wanted to and then I feel like I just met some like really nice people that were interested in like talking about synthesizers and like I could try out different drum machines and figure out what I wanted and uh, like I bought this from a friend, Octa Octa. Uh, so everything just sort of came in little bits and then being a part of a community of people that are all trying to kind of build their own sounds, like it just, uh, I don't know, it's really inspiring and now I mostly just like work alone in my studio but uh, I'm super into like how many people are around doing cool things. I don't know, I just, I feel like music production can be so intimidating that like I just always tell people that like however you can make stuff is fine and like you don't have to use Ableton and you don't have to use expensive equipment. Uh, so yeah, I just encourage people to like play and go for it. Thanks Fact for having me go against the clock. Uh, it's like an, it's an exciting challenge because I usually don't work in front of anyone and it kind of makes me like not overthink anything or it, it's cool to kind of see like oh maybe I could make a song in 10 minutes and it wouldn't be like terrible it just wouldn't be that interesting or I don't know it's a I kind of like would like to try to do more 10 minute songs.